Hey foodies, have you ever had bananas that have, you've just gotten from the supermarket and they started to go brown? Pop them in the freezer until you're ready to use them with this recipe. We're gonna make banana bread and I'm gonna make it in a bun pan because I love baking things in bun pans. So we're making everything right from scratch because nothing tastes better than from scratch. We're gonna have Frankie's gluten-free all-purpose flour as our base. We've got sugar, dark chocolate because you gotta have chocolate in something, baking powder, baking soda, salt, vanilla, eggs, water, and a bit of canola oil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by adding all of our dry ingredients into the mixer. So that's the flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and sugar. Don't add your chocolate yet. I know it's dry, but don't add it yet because you don't want the chocolate to get all gunked up and, and, and mush together. So we're just I'm just gonna lightly mix this by hand. Mainly because it's just a dry mixture and it's not gonna take a lot of work. Oh, look at that, look at that. Nice combined mixture. Okay, so to that, we're gonna add our bananas. Water. Canola oil. Vanilla. And eggs. One. Two. Three, four. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this all in the mixer. And we are gonna mix this up. I haven't forgotten the chocolate, don't worry. Start it off slow, because you don't want the mixture to get all over the place. And once it starts to be combined, then you can just kick it up to high speed, and we're going to really whip it for a good two minutes. There's a couple reasons why you want to whip it for, for the two minutes. And that's, you want to create a lot of air in it to give it a lot of body and to, to make it a bit lighter. So now we're going to put in the dark chocolate. And I'm just going to lightly stir this so that it's combined in. Okay. So that is it. So there's my bun pan. You can also put these in muffins and it will be just as good they won't cook as they won't take as long to bake um but i sometimes like putting a little zhuzh in my in my desserts and and having them in a bun pan just to have some fun with it okay and then we just pour oh look at that looks Fabulous. Okay, just make sure it's nice and even. So I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to bake it and we're going to see what it looks like when it comes out. Oh my goodness, the banana chocolate cake, for lack of a better word, is just, it just, oh, if you could smell this, it was it just smells wonderful. I want to see what it looks like upside down, so let's give it a flip and see. Moment of truth. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, oh, it smells glorious. So let's give it a slice. Look at how moist that is. Oh my goodness, it's a little on the warm side. I'm just gonna get a plate. Because you can see it's just falling apart because it's just so warm. But look at that. 
It just... Oh, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh my goodness. It's worth every bite. Mm. There you go. Banana chocolate loaf or bun pan. You could cover this with a bit of icing or ganache. You can make it like a birthday cake. You could serve it for breakfast. You could serve it as a as a at high tea. You could do any number of things. So thank you for watching, and I look forward to reading all of your comments. I'll see you next time. Mmm.